Welcome to the channel. So I recently made a video in Hindi about if I'm gonna lose my job to chat GPT. And also I made a TikTok which went pretty viral. So I thought, you know, I should make a video about chat GPT on this channel too. So talking about my video in Hindi, so any of the folks who are Hindi speaking on this channel, go check out my channel. Uh, in Hindi, so I recently launched this and the first video is up and this is the video I'm talking about, right? But for the TikTok, it's a different one that I posted and it has over 75k views now and it's from an education point of view. So we'll go into that and first I want to share my thoughts about ChatGPT. So I have been using it for almost five days now, right? I've asked it some technical questions. Sometimes I've done some research on a specific topic. Even I've used it for writing some stuff for me personally. So like note taking and stuff, right? And it is pretty solid. I'm not going to lie because it takes away that, you know, filtering through URLs if you're doing some Google search, right? It gives you a concise and almost accurate information on any given topic as far as my experience has been until now. So few things I have tested out is the playground. So I asked it to write a Lambda function uh, in Python and it not completely did a good job, right? But then I asked it to write Terraform, which is an infrastructure as code language to write. so write Terraform to deploy a Lambda function and it did a pretty good job. It's pretty accurate. So if I specified, you know, that the Lambda function is in Python, it would have picked the runtime Python here. But other than the runtime, which is my mistake, I didn't specify it, everything looks pretty good. So, you know, it has that capability of writing code. But apart from that, I have asked it about, you know, some of the AWS certifications questions. So I did ask about it, AWS Solutions Architect Professional exam question, and it was right to a certain extent. So it was not exactly right when it comes to choosing the options, but the explanation that it gave was pretty accurate. So here's the question I asked about. This is from the sample exam paper from, for AWS Solutions Architect Professional. And the answer it gave was course. So it was pretty accurate, but the options that it selected were incorrect, right? But then I have asked it multiple questions and most of the time it's correct. So it's kind of concerning to me when it comes from an educator's point of view, right? Because I give out assignments and, you know, um, exams to students for who are learning, you know, cloud at the college. I get that it's not so challenging for me because, so let's say for the group project, right? So I asked, and this is what the TikTok is about. So I asked ChatGPT to create a three-tier web app in AWS, and it did provide a pretty solid solution. And I also asked it for an architecture diagram, which it drew, right here so you know students could copy this and just give me their assignment right but the thing is with with technical s subjects i feel like for me especially you know you have to deploy this in aws uh, so it is good for research purposes but think about subjects like english history or any of the other language subjects right you could write a entire essay and i check this for plagiarism and it's not plagiarized so that's challenging for an like a professor or educator, right? Because now you can't identify if the student did any research or they just asked chat GPT to write the contents. And that is where I'm kind of, you know, uh, on the fence if this is like a great tool or we have to come up with solution uh, to test the knowledge at, you know, universities and colleges. And for cloud, I'm fine because it's more hands-on, so I have other medians of, you know, testing the knowledge and see if students have researched uh, and have learned about AWS. Um, but yeah, that's where my thoughts are from an educator point of view. 
but as a professional it has definitely you know changed the game it is a tool on my list now when i do research or i have to come up with or if i'm stuck with a coding problem right i do ask it hey could you write a function that does xyz and it does provide pretty accurate information and you know sometimes it's it's not the code itself is not accurate but you debug and you figure it out so i definitely think it's a great tool but i'm still not sure you know if it'll take away our jobs as a cloud devops or you know software developer so yeah that was the video hope you liked it Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We are really close to 10K. So thanks for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.